water. It's life's most basic need. But there's a water crisis in our world right now. Seriously, a crisis. Nearly one billion people live without clean drinking water. It's happening all over the world, especially in developing areas of Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. It's a water crisis because it starts with water. But water affects everything. Education, health, poverty, and especially women and children. Let's look at a family caught in the water crisis. It's likely they live on less than a dollar a day. When they're thirsty, they can't just turn on the faucet for a nice cold glass of water. They don't have a faucet. Instead, the women and children go off to collect water. Many walk up to three hours a day to the nearest swamp, pond, or river to gather water that's been sitting out in the open, exposed to all kinds of germs. Time spent gathering water is time they can't spend learning to read, write, earn an income, or take care of their family. Some women in Sub-Saharan Africa spend more time collecting water than any other activity they do in the day. And the walk isn't just hard, it's dangerous. The women are alone and burdened with 40 pounds of water. Many get hurt. Sometimes they're even attacked. When they make it home, the little water they've collected isn't clean. Some families know their water is contaminated with germs that cause diarrhea, dehydration, even death. But what choice do they have? Kids, especially babies, are affected most by these germs. About every 19 seconds, a mother loses one of her children to a water-related illness. And each day, almost a billion people are living this way. Water may cover about 71% of the Earth, but only 2.5% of that is fresh water. And only 1% of the world's fresh water supply is actually usable for drinking water. The rest is in the form of ice, permanent snow, or groundwater. This small supply makes fresh water hard to come by in many areas. In fact, one in six people worldwide don't have access to safe drinking water. And this growing problem just keeps getting bigger. Scientists predict that by 2015, two-thirds of the world will be living in water-scarce areas. So how can we help? As individuals, reducing water consumption at home can make a big difference. And that's because many of us use a lot of water. For instance, the average individual in Singapore uses about 41 gallons, or 154 liters of water, per day. While the average American uses about 69 gallons, or 262 liters, each day. That breaks down to 18.5 gallons for toilets. 15 gallons for clothes washers, about 12 gallons for showers, and 11 gallons for faucet use. So you can see how even small actions like shortening showers and turning off the faucet when brushing your teeth can add up to conserve water.